Hey everybody, this is Nature Nate, and today I want to talk to you about a cool ice tool, the Gravel Dark Machines. Woohoo! These things are pretty premier. They are an incredible piece of gear. Pretty, pretty uh, specialty, but I, they're about it. They're one of the lightest uh, um, ice axes on the market for technical ice. Tools. So let me show you, it's got a very technical handle. This handle's cool, uh, I haven't wrapped it. Instead here, I'll show you. Um, but I guess let me talk about some of, the, some of the numbers and stuff first. So this thing weighs 17.7 .7 ounces, about 500 grams. So they are very light. And that's from my weight on a scale right before I came out. I have the uh, Total Ice Vario on there right now. And I've used them with other Varios as well. So. Uh, Anyway, I'll talk about that some too. And then the price, these are 420 bucks US dollars a pop. So uh, anyway, on the pricier side, but you get what you pay for. So let me show you how I, uh, the whole thing, literally the whole thing is carbon. Uh, I think there is an aluminum, a bit of aluminum in there for extra support, but the handle itself is carbon too. And what I did is I just put a little bit of silicone just on those uh, protruding handle parts, and that has been plenty for me to keep it protected. Um, some people wrap the whole handle. There's, there's other things. So I guess one of the downsides, the carbon fiber does get cold. So if you're not gripping it and then do grip it or something like that, or like let's say you're gripping the handle but you gotta grip up, I've actually had my gloves freeze to it. Not a huge deal. Um, but it will make your hands a little colder. However, I did not wrap the handle because I like to be able to fit uh, a bigger glove just in case it's really cold in these things. And uh, this just gives you a little bit extra ability to do that. So here's the Total Ice Vario head on there. And that's what you really need to look at. So between compared to some of the other Varios, so they're just the Ice Vario, which is more of kind of a Alp Alpine style. It uh, works, works on both rock, ice, and snow. This, they say, is total ice, and from my experience, basically the, di the, old, the biggest difference, I mean, weighting and all those things too, but is the tooth at the very tip right there. I'm gonna get out of the shot. So just that, that tooth, let's let it focus. Anyway, you can at least see the angle. <clears throat> on the ice vario, instead of this total ice vario, that part flares a little more and actually gets wider towards the front. Kind of a, um, more of a, kind of a wedge shape. Anyway, what I've noticed with that is it sinks in really nicely, but it gets stuck in the ice more easily. These pu pull out of the ice a lot more easily. However, they don't seem to, um, you, don't, you don't get those, with, with just the ice version, you get just really nice solid swings and when it's in it's in you know it it is not coming out but it's not coming out like you literally are having to yank on the thing and anyway it can be tiresome when you're doing a, a tough climb and you're in those tough positions to be trying to pull this ice axe out these come out way more easily which is really nice but they don't feel quite as uh, secure sometimes so you just it's, it's that trade-off right um, and I've, I've really enjoyed these. I haven't had any issues with them slipping out or anything, so no big deal. So for the rest of the ice axe, it is, it is weighted pretty head heavy. So even though it's such a light ice axe, which it is definitely a light ice axe, it doesn't swing like a light ice axe. It actually swings really nicely. Um, for me, it's perfect weight. Let's see if I can do a quick uh, little balance on there. So it is yeah, it's, it's, it's quite head heavy, and anyway, it's, it has a great swing because of that, and it helps uh, deal with that light weight um, of the ice axe, because you don't want, it, it's a trade-off, right? A heavier ice axe is gonna be, take less of a move to get it to, to um, purchase the ice, but it's gonna be, tire you out more every swing, so it's kind of that trade-off. This, I find, is that perfect match, and uh, it's got this nice, spike at the bottom which helps uh, hold, holds the ice axe a little more secure and then it's got this nice uh, open hole up at the top easy to clip onto your harness and everything so yeah there you have it 
I'll, I'll show you some swings here on the ice. Make sure I'm in, in uh, the shot and all. Just so you can get a, a general idea of how it swings. So anyway, this, this, I'll just do some quick uh, wrist flicks. That's how I generally climb. I'm a wrist flicker, not a, not a full swing kind of guy. So anyway, and look at that. Even just with that little effort, you can rest on that. Again, it comes out pretty, it comes out really easy, but it's in there a lot better than it, you might expect. So I'll just do another couple little swings. And this is low effort. I'm barely up. Oh, it's pretty cold out, so some brittle ice. Um, but anyway, I'm barely, barely swinging on this. And it is solid, solid. So I'll just keep doing a, oh, a few more just so you can get an idea of Oh, what it's like to swing this thing. Um, again, very, very easy to swing and uh, a great purchase, low effort. So anyway, you don't need a ton of purchase to get it to really grip. And again, that total ice comes out of the ice really, really easily. So that's its advantage versus just this normal ice vario, which does have a more, more range of use but it's, it gets stuck in the ice like a lot, a lot, and, and, and difficult to get out of. It's not, ju it's not just you wiggle it a few times and it comes out. No, you're, you're actually yanking on the thing and pulling it di from different angles, stuff you don't normally want to do at all, but it just sinks in so much, it's pretty much required. Um, so I've been enjoying the Total Ice Vario, and uh, I don't have head weights or anything on it, just what, just that little head weight the spacer which you need and actually to in order to uh, to install these these uh, head weights but or the sorry the uh, total total ice varios so anyway these tech machine uh, sorry the prevail dark machines I have the tech machines too so that's anyway these dark machines are awesome I've uh, retired my dark machine or tech machines because of it and gone to fully to the dark machines and anyway, I haven't had any issues with durability or anything. Just, no joke, just those little silicone nubs, how, how I have it like that, is enough to protect the carbon fiber from getting beaten up. And I, I have not done, like, I've done some gentle mixed climbing in these. I have not been doing you know, full, full mix routes, uh, just, just like a, some small top rope mixed climbing haven't had issues with these but I, with this but I was you know I was being gentle with them I'm not trying to bash them on rocks I think you could crush these things on rock honestly if you weren't if you weren't being mindful and I have seen uh, from one of the local gear shops I got a picture from one of my friends and his friend has the dark machines and he actually snapped it in half right right here at the handle so right here, it literally cracked off. I don't know the con under the cir what circumstances or anything, but I do, I, I keep that in mind when I'm using that. I try not to like crank on them really, really too, too much in this you know, space right here because I, I have seen a picture of it, of it shearing off right there, which obviously would be really bad. So anyway, uh, these dark machines are awesome for Vell and uh, they're, they're easier to come by now than they were last year and the year before, but uh, I've been using them for the past, I don't know, three months probably. So I've climbed with them maybe a dozen to 15 times and I've loved them. I haven't gone back since I started using them. So I, I definitely recommend them for, uh, for that kind of specialty market. They are more expensive than a lot of other ice axes, but hey, is it something you really like to do? Do you get to use them a lot? then it's worth it. Uh, and uh, you actually, it does extend your climbing quite a bit because of that weight reduction. So there's there's value to it. Uh, and, and basically the way it's weighted alleviates any of those issues you have with a lightweight ice axe that you might have uh, with, with a different brand or with a different uh, ice axe that's still on the lightweight side. So anyway, Gravel Tech or Dark Machines, Thank you all for watching. I am Nature Nate and hope you all have an awesome day.